Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, said for real. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term then i have a special program just for you link is in the description below also and i can help you out personally again one-on-one -on -one with any questions concerns or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general and also go pick up my brand new girls night card game it's officially out so if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls' night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way. And we're going to jump right into this video. And this video is titled, Never Break the No Contact Rule. Right, ladies? So when you are in the time period of no contact, when you're in the no contact phase with the man and it's a standoff, right? So he not talking to you, you not talking to him. You trying to see which one of us is going to cave in first. Which one of us is going to be the one that reaches out first, you know? Because a lot of times the whole reason why you went no contact was because either A, this man that did something to you offensive, like he disrespected you in some type of way, and you know, or he pushed you away, or he did something that just rubbed you the wrong way. And you said, you know what? Let me distance myself away from this man because he got me messed up, right? He got me messed up. I don't want to be disrespected or taken advantage of, right? Or you went no contact to teach him a lesson also just to set a point and make a point to say, hey, to basically grab his attention and to let it be known that you could be gone at any given time, so he need to get his act together, right? So sometimes you pull back to teach him a lesson, like, hey, don't play with me. Or sometimes you pull back because he really, you know, did something offensive, and, you know, again, you still try to teach him a lesson, right? But whoever is the person who reaches out first is the chaser, right? So if you as a woman, if you start reaching out to a man, let's just say you go no contact with a man, you stop answering his phone calls, you stop answering his text messages, you you go no contact. That means no contact at all. That means we not seeing each other. We not even talking. We not having sex. We not even talking at all, period, right? But... And for a period of time. But 
if you are the one that pulls back and then reaches back out to him, then that means that you are indeed chasing that man. And now you're the chaser. So you can't leave and then come back to him. It's going to cause a lot of conflict in the relationship moving forward, right? And then let's just say you do pull back from this man. And let's say he's the one that reaches out to you to say, hey, you know, I'm sorry. I miss you. I really messed up. I need you back in my life, baby. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what was going on with me. I was tripping. I need you back in my life, right? Now the ball is in your court now. Now you are the one that's in the stronger position and he's the one in the weaker position, right? So when you're going no contact with a man, you want to make sure that you are not the one that reaches out first. No matter what you do, I don't care what the circumstances are, I don't care what happens, do not be the first person to reach out first. And I'm going to tell you exactly why, okay? Okay. But also, in the midst of you going no contact, try to keep yourself busy, right? So you want to keep yourself busy in a no contact. Because you may say, Sid, it's hard for me to pull back from this man. Me and this man, he's my best friend. We do everything together. We hang out. You know, I really care about him. It's hard to not talk to him or it's hard to be away from him even though he disrespected me or even though he hurt my feelings. You know, it's hard for me to, you know, have him out of my life. But that's when you got to think about the big picture here that you're teaching that man a lesson and you got to keep yourself busy in the meantime so you don't go back to reaching out to him and chasing back to him and trying to rekindle something that you didn't even break. He the one that broke it, so he the one that need to fix it, right? He the one that messed up everything, that did something bad, so he the one got to fix it, not you. So keep yourself busy. That means, you know, hang out with some friends, you know, focus on your school, focus on your job, focus on your business, focus on your kids, focus on you, yourself, making sure you feel good, look good. You know, live your life without this man. Pick up some hobbies, you know, get some hobbies, get some, some things that you like to do. Find something else to occupy your time other than sitting around waiting on this man to text you back or to call you back or to reach out, right? You let him have some time to make his mind wander, right? You always want to make a man's mind wander. Because in that period of no contact, when you pull back all your benefits, you pull back the cooking, the cleaning, the sex, the emotional support, you pull back just you, just con all contact with you. He don't have it no more, right? So that's going to teach him a lesson over time. Like, dang, I really messed up with this girl. I really messed up. And I don't have her in my life no more. So you essentially are teaching this man what life would be like without you, right? You're making that man suffer. You want this man to suffer without you. You want this man to really think about what he did wrong and be like, wow, Look at how great of a woman and how big of an impact this woman had on my life. And now she's gone and I don't hear nothing from her. We go in no contact. I don't know if I lost her for good or if it's just temporary. He don't know. So it makes his mind wonder. It makes him feel bad. It makes him miss you. You got to give a man some time to miss you. The problem with a lot of women is when you pull back and you go no contact with a man, the no contact does not last for enough time for him to think about what he did wrong. You can't go no contact with a man for one day and expect for him to change. You can't go no contact for a couple days. Sometimes you got to go a whole week, two weeks, a month, a couple months. You know, for a man to really get his act together and be like, whoa, like I'm suffering without this woman. I don't have no more consistent sex no more. I don't have no more home cooked meals no more. I don't have no more hugs and kisses and nobody checking on me no more. 
I don't got none of that no more, you know? And you got to make this man miss you and think about you and want you back so he can learn his lesson and get his act together. And essentially what you're doing is you're punishing that man for disrespecting you. So you're putting that man on punishment. You putting him on time out. It's time out. You know, time out. He go and time out. You know, you got to teach people how to treat you. So when you go no contact, when he did something bad, when this man cheated on you, this man lied to you, this man disrespected you, cussed you out, put hands on you, you know, called you out your name, you know, a lot of that, you know, so a lot of that actually you need to be gone. Really, some of that, like if he put his hands on you or he called you out your name, stuff like that, like real high level disrespect. You just got to walk away altogether. You don't even need to do the no contact. No contact is a temporary fix. That's just a temporary pull back method to get somebody to act right. But if it's on a high level of disrespect, then you got to walk away forever. You got to cut that man off for good. If he putting his hands on you, cussing you out, stuff like that, that's too far. Now, if this man, you know, if he do uh, like a little minor offense or he do something that just kind of rub you the wrong, the wrong way, but it's not too, too, too bad, but it is something that, you know, need to be addressed, then that's a good strategy to use is the no contact phase, right? Because it makes that man think about you, miss you, and want you back and get his act together because he will think that you will be gone and he will be afraid of losing you. So you want to put fear in this man's heart that, hey, if you do not cherish me, if you do not love me, if you do not appreciate me, I could be gone out your life at any given time. So don't play with me. And you really got to stand on it. The problem is y'all women don't be standing on it. You go no contact for a day or two, a couple of days. Then you right back with that man. Or as soon as he reach out the first time, you accept him right back in and everything just fine. So you can't be doing that. You can't be breaking the no contact. Or sometimes you the one that broke the no contact. This man that lied to you, he told you a lie or did something offensive to you. You went no contact with him. You said, I don't want to talk to you no more. You know, I'm going to let you get your act together and stuff like that. But then you start missing him. So you said, dang, I really miss him. I miss him so bad. I want him back in my life. Let me just go reach out to him. And then when you go reach out to him, that just defeats the whole purpose of the no contact rule. Y'all women be tripping. Y'all be y'all be messing up when it comes to a man and you supposed to hold firm. When you go on no contact, you supposed to say, I'm not contacting you first. He messed up. He need to fix it. Not you. Because if you go back and you start reaching out to him, and you the one that break the no contact rule, if you break your own rule, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, okay? So, without further ado, ladies, we going to jump right into this video, right? And per usual, I'm going to give you my top four. Yes, four reasons why you as a woman, you should never, ever, ever break the no contact rule. And these are the top four things that happen when you do break the no contact rule or you do allow him to come back in too early, too soon without him suffering the consequences and having some time to really think about you and miss you and suffer without you. So you can't let him back in so easily either. You got to you gotta give him some time to be grounded. You got to put this man, you got to ground this man, put him in time out. So he can think about what he did, right? And if you don't do it, then this will happen, okay? So number one, the first thing that happens when you break the no contact rule as a woman, even though you set the no contact rule, you was the one to pull back, but you go back after him or you let him back in too easy, is you will always be in the weaker position. So... Whoever breaks the no contact rule first is the loser. If you break the no contact rule with him, you're the loser. He's the winner. Meaning you're the chaser and he's the one being chased. Meaning 
You need him in your life so bad that no matter what he does to you, you just can't stay away from him. You don't have the guts to walk away. You don't have the guts to be able to stand up for yourself, hold firm and say, you know what? You messed up. I'm not reaching out to this man, right? But if you reach out to him first and you was the one that pulled back in the first place or even he pulled back because he might pull back from you. Sometimes the man is the one that pulled back from you and you the one chasing up after him. Why, why you block me? Why you don't call me no more? Why you don't text me? What happened? What I do? What I do wrong? You know, you going crazy over this man. And that was all part of his game. He wanted you to go crazy over him and chase him. But when you don't chase him, or if you was the one that pulled back and you don't go back to him and chase him, then guess what? This man has no choice but to chase up after you. Because if you chase him, that's basically you saying this man's value is so high. I like him so much. I care for him so much. I'm putting him up on a pedestal, your highness. And, you know, I don't care what he do to me as long as, you know, I'm, as long as I still have him in my life. So this man that lied to you, this man that neglected you, he's inconsistent. He just act like you don't exist or he, you know, won't commit to you, whatever. And you say, you know what? I'm pulling back. I'm pulling back. No contact. Right. But then you say, I'm starting to miss this man. He ain't contacting me. He ain't acting like he missed me. Maybe my no contact rule didn't work. So maybe I need to contact him. And the second that you reach back out to him, he going to say, oh, this woman is weak. This woman don't have no backbone. This woman can, this woman will tolerate anything I do because she liked me so much. You mean tell me I just disrespected her in her face? And she pulled away, but then she still came running back to me? What does that tell him? I got more value than you do. And this man will start looking at you like you soft. You weak. You can't breathe without me. You can't live without me. You mean to tell me that I disrespected you in your face and you pulled back, but then, but then you came coming right back to me even after I disrespected you? That means that obviously you don't mind me disrespecting you because you care more about me and being with me than you do about how I treat you. Meaning you probably got low self-esteem or you probably just put me up on a pedestal so high that you don't even care about yourself and what I do to you. So you care more about having me in your life than you do about your own self-worth and your own dignity as a woman. And that's a problem because you should always care about your self-worth and your dignity over any man. You should always care more about how you feel and how that man treats you than how you feel about that man, you know? So you got to hold firm because when you don't hold firm, he will have all the power. He will have all the control. Whoever chasing the other person, if you chasing up after that man, you the weaker position. You're in the weaker position. You're the weaker link. You're weak. You know what I'm saying? He's strong. He hold, He held firm. He said, you know what? I'm not contacting her. Mm -mm. I'm not contacting her. Mm -mm. You know? She got to come to me. You know? And then you came to him. So now he's like, yeah, I knew you'd be back. I knew you couldn't leave me. I knew you'd be coming right back. No matter what I did to you, you're going to go off for a second, but you're going to come right back. So this man, he started feeling real big-headed, like, look at this pathetic woman. She can't live without me. She can't even stand on her words. She said she was done with me. She said that I got to get my act together. She said all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. But her actions are showing otherwise. Her actions showing that she can only leave for a couple of days and then she come right back to me like she missed me more than I miss her. So I'm in a stronger position so I can treat her however, do whatever and stuff like that. Because what she going to do, she always going to be right back to me. So I'm strong. She weak. She need me more than I need her. And I can do whatever I want to do because she not going to go nowhere. Because obviously she's a bluff. Obviously I'm calling her bluff. 
She keep threatening me. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. She leave for a second. Then she come right back. I did not learn no lesson, right? Now that rolls us in right into number two. So number two, the second reason why you should not break the no contact rule with a man is he will not learn his lesson. So if you go no contact with a man, if you pull back and stuff like that, and you go right back to him or you pull back, and you let him come right back to you so fast. As soon as he say, I'm sorry, you say, okay, that's fine. I'm going to let you back in, right? This man, he ain't learned his lesson yet. He did not learn his lesson. He felt like, oh, that was easy. So you mean to tell me I lied to this girl? I wouldn't be with her. I treated her like dirt. I neglected her. I really didn't care nothing about her. I would not commit to her. And she pulled back away from me. Then she came running right back. I still ain't got to be with her. Or I still ain't got to treat her right. I still don't have to learn my lesson. Because what was the lesson? What was the point of you leaving if you was going to come right back? Or what was the point of you leaving? And then as soon as I want you back, you accept me back in so easily. So you cannot never go running back to a man after the no contact phase because that defeats the whole purpose that defeats the no contact rule if you gonna do the no contact rule you gotta hold firm and you gotta pull all the way back and let that man chase you chase you call you blow your phone up make that man panic make him go crazy make him go just ballistic like make him like he can't even think straight without you. Like, I need her. I got to have her. Why is she not picking up? Is she gone forever? Is she really, really gone? You want this man to be tripping like, I need her in my life. I'm about to lose this woman. I got to do something fast before I lose her for good. You want that man to panic. But if that man not panicking or that man, you know, not tripping yet, you know what I'm saying? Then... Sometimes that make you feel like, oh, well, he's not panicking or he's not reaching out to me or he's living his life and not even tripping the fact that we with no contact. So I miss him. Let me go back to him. Or if this man reach out to you, you let him back in too easily without no consequences. You got to set some boundaries and have some consequences. Even if you do accept this man back in after a while, you can't just pick up where you left off. The problem with a lot of you women is when you go no contact and men say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, I want you back. You automatically just take him back and you pick up where you left off. And you can't do that. He got to earn his way back in the club now. He can't, no, nah, he, he, he got his badge. He got his award revoked. You know, he got his little, you know, his, his hallway. He got his little pass revoked. No, nah, you can't come into my life. You got that revoked now. Now you on suspension, right? Now you on suspension or now you're in timeout. Like, yeah, I'm in your life now. Yeah, we talk. But you don't get all those benefits. I'm not going to be cooking and cleaning and giving you sex and giving you everything just because you said you were sorry. No, I need to see some change behavior before you get these benefits back. The problem is a lot of you ladies, y'all let the man come back into your life and you just give him the benefits like it's nothing. You give him the sex you give him money, you give him emotional support, you give him everything. As soon as he come back and he still ain't learned his lesson. So even when you do go no contact, you still got to hold firm. Do not break it. Let the man reach out to you and panic. And then when you finally do let him back in after a while of him going crazy and panicking and reaching out, blowing your phone up, then even then you still can't throw everything back into him. You got to let him earn his way back and see some changed behavior out of him so he can get the benefits. So he's still on probation, right? You got this man. So it's a no contact phase. And then even when he do come back, you got to put this man on a probationary period where he got to earn his way back. So no contact is him in jail. Basically, 
When you go no contact with a man, you put that man in jail. He in jail, right? Just like in jail, you don't get them privileges no more. All your privileges of your citizenship has been revoked, right? And even when you get out of jail, even when you get out of jail, you still on probation. Or you still got some restrictions. You still, it ain't the same what it was before you went to jail. You don't have those same privileges no more. You know, now that you went, now that he in no contact in jail with you, and then he get out of jail, right? Now he in probation. So now he got to prove himself on, in a probationary period, just like jail, probationary period where he could prove himself to be back into society, AKA be back into your life. So you got to follow those same principles, just like jail, right? So, so he in no contact and then, so you in no contact and then you got to put him on probation. Okay. And then in probation, that's when you see him, you know, actively, you know, trying to win you back over because he missed those benefits and he want to have you back, you know, all the way. So you got to give a man some time to miss you, give him some time to suffer without you so he can learn his lesson because he won't learn his lesson if you give him the benefits up front as soon as he come back or if you break the no contact rule and run back to him, that defeats the whole purpose. How you going to leave my life after I did something to you I hurt you and you left me, but then you come back. What sense do that make? That don't make no sense. If I hurt you and then you leave and then you come right back to me a few days later, what does that tell that man? Obviously, you don't care about what I did. Because if you did care about how I treated you, you would not be reaching out. You'd be holding firm, giving me the cold shoulder. You got to give that man the coldest shoulder. You better make your shoulder ice cold. Give him the coldest shoulder. Don't touch me. Don't talk to me. Block, delete everything. Make that man suffer, go crazy without you. Then when he finally do reach out enough times and he going crazy and psycho and tripping, then you say, you know what? Okay, I'm going to give you an opportunity to redeem yourself. I'm going to give you an opportunity to show me that you really want me. But you ain't finna get this booty no more. Or you ain't finna get the booty as much as you was. Or you not finna get, you know, everything I was doing for you. All the nice stuff I was doing for you. You not getting that. You know, you gotta earn your way back. You starting from ground zero, brother. Be happy I'm even giving you an opportunity to make it up to me. But you gonna have to make it up to me. So you gotta make that man make it up to you. Make him take you out. Make him spend some money on you. Make him, you know, really invest time, money, energy into you. Spend time with you. Do romantic stuff. You got to make that man really pour into you. And then you can say, okay, after a while of him pouring in and proving himself to you, then you can start back giving back his benefits that he had before. But make him suffer before he get it so he can learn his lesson. Because it, even if he do, let's say he the one that pulled back. He might have pulled back from you and then you start chasing him. So that's still showing him, hey, you know, I could pull back from this woman and she's still going to be chasing up after me. So I don't really care nothing about her because she always need me more than I need her. But if this man pulled back from you and you still hold firm during the no context, this man going to be like, wait a minute. You mean to tell me I pulled all the way back from her? I cut her off, I blocked her, or I just put pulled away from her and she didn't notice or she didn't chase me back or she didn't want me back or she wasn't tripping over the fact that I left her? What's up? She not she don't care about me? Somebody got to care. I wonder why she don't care. Let me go see. So now he's chasing you because you didn't chase him. And that basically showed him that, hey, my no contact don't work. When I try to go no contact with you, it don't work because you don't care. And you don't care more than I don't care. So somebody got to care. So if you not going to care as a woman, then I guess I got to care as a man. So now I'm the one chasing you, right? So again, you got to teach that man a lesson. And if you do, 
And, you know, when you do let him back in, you got to make him earn him his way back. He don't pick up where he left off. It don't work like that. He on probation. When you get out of jail, you don't have the same... You don't have the same privileges that you did before you went to jail. Now that you're out of jail, you got felt, you got all types of stuff attached to your record, attached to your name. You on probation. You don't have those same privileges no more, you know? So that's how you got to treat him. So that's number two. So number three, the third reason why you should not break the no contact rule with a man and you need to hold strong, hold firm. Do not break it. Do not reach out to him. Let him come to you. Is he will never respect you and he will never take you seriously. How can a man respect a woman that come chasing me? I can't respect you. I can't take you seriously. So now every time you do try to go no contact and pull back, I don't believe that you really gone because you always come back. Every time you pull away, you come back. Or anytime I pull away, you come chasing me. I don't respect you no more because I know you always going to be there. No matter what I do, no matter how I treat you, no matter what I do to you, no matter how bad I make you feel, you're going to tolerate it and you're going to chase me and want me back because you need me more than I need you. So I don't respect you and I don't take you seriously. So now when I do something offensive, it the no contact don't work. You could go no contact, but I know you're going to be back. So I don't really care. So even when we do get back together, I'm going to still treat you the way I feel like treating you because I know you ain't going to leave me for real. You might go a couple of days without talking to me or you might go a week or so without talking to me. Okay, that's fine. But guess what? I'm going to set my timer and you're going to be right back to me. So I don't take you serious. I'm calling your bluff. You all bark and no bite. I'm going to leave you. You think I'm playing with you? I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you. No, you not. Because every time I hurt you or I disrespect you, you don't never leave or you temporarily leave and you come chasing me. You know, even though I hurt you, I'm the one that put you through some stuff or put you through some pain or I disrespected you, offended you. Then you going to come chasing back after me. So you like being you like being disrespected. You must like when I disrespect you because you were supposed to be gone. You supposed to make me chase you. But you ain't let me chase you. So you chased up after me. So now every time you go running off, I know you coming back. I can look at my watch and say, she going to come back at this time. She's not going nowhere. She don't, she don't have the guts. She don't have the courage. She don't have the audacity to leave me. She don't, she know, she know she's not going to leave me. So I don't take her seriously. I feel like she a joke. I feel like she is a game. I feel like she weak and insecure and she going to let anybody treat her any type of way just to say she got a man. And if she like me that much, if she put me that much on the pedestal, no matter what I do, I'm going to keep doing it because I don't care. If she don't care about herself, why would I care about disrespecting her? So you got to teach this man a lesson so that he can learn his lesson and he can take you seriously. Because the no contact phase do not work. It, the reason why you may say, Sid, the no contact rule does not work. It don't work, Sid. It don't work. It don't work because you don't go no contact long enough for one. And then it don't work because even when he do come back, you let him back in too easily without putting him on timeout probation. You know what I'm saying? That period of time. You ain't put him in on a probationary period where he got to earn back your trust. You let him in too easy and or you chased him. So he don't take you serious now when you do leave or when you do pull back. He like, girl, the no contact, it don't work. You going to be right back. So I don't care. Go ahead and do what you got to do. Go ahead and, and block me, delete me. Because guess what? You going to unblock me in a couple days. 
So I don't care. I don't learn my lesson. I'm going to keep doing the same thing. I'm going to keep mistreating you. I don't care if you don't care, right? So you as a woman, you got to care about yourself and you got to put your foot down and you got to teach that man, hey, I could be gone, brother, and you'll never hear from me again. So if you don't reach out to me, we just ain't going to talk. You already got to have it in your mind. If this man don't contact me, if he don't call me, if he don't text me, if he don't chase me, then we just ain't never going to talk again. Because I'm not finna chase him. You better not chase that man. You better not reach out to that man first. Because if you reach out first, you will always be in the weaker position, right? And now that rolls us right into the last one, y'all. Number four. So number four. The fourth and last and final reason why you as a woman, you should never, ever, ever break the no contact rule with a man is now he know how to treat you and he will start testing you. So this is a learned behavior. Now this man know how to treat you is learned behavior. He see what you are willing to tolerate and what you're not willing to tolerate. But you are willing to tolerate a lot. So no matter what this man do, you're going to be running right back to him. Even if he hurt you. Or even if he pull back, you're still going to be running back to him. So this man always know, oh, she need me more than I need her. So let me play with her a little bit. Let me play some mind games. Now you open up a whole opportunity for him just to pull back whenever he feel like it. He might just pull back out the blue. He might just block your number out the blue. He might just not answer you for a couple of days out the blue. He might just not answer your text messages, whatever, distance himself away just to see what you would do to get a thrill out of it. Because now you then boosted up his ego every time you came back to him and chased him and went back to him or let him back in too easily. You boosted his ego. This woman can't live without me. Let me test her and see how much she really can't live without me. So now he pulling back on purpose or now he do something real bad on purpose just to test you just to see, okay, is she going to leave me for real? Probably not. You know, I'm going to keep disrespecting her. Let's see what she do. I'm going to try her. I'm going to test her. And then if you pull back for a day or two and come right back, he going to be like, see, I knew it. I knew it. I knew she can't live without me. I know she need me. Now, let me disrespect her again and let me see her chase me back. Or now, let me pull back and now let me see her chase back to me and feed my ego because she chasing me. So, she need me. She can't live without me. She want me so bad, you know? So, you're feeding his ego because he's in a stronger position and you basically bowing down to him willing to do whatever and and let him talk and tolerate whatever from him just to say you got a man or just to say you got him. So he going to be using you for an ego boost. He going to be using you to build up his self-confidence and his self-esteem through the roof. Because if I could hurt you and you leave, then you come back and you chase me. That means that no matter... That means that what I did must not have been that bad or how I treated you. Obviously, you ain't care. You care more about me. So now I'm going to keep making you chase me. Keep chasing me because you'll never have me. Keep chasing me. I'm going to keep pulling back. Now he do it on purpose. Now he make you chase him on purpose. Or now he just doing whatever he want to do because he don't care because you allowed him to treat you that way because you ain't never left him for real. So, when you go no contact with a man, you got to hold firm. And whatever you do, do not be the one to cave in first. Don't you ever cave in first with a man. You always want to be the one to act like you don't care. Act like you don't even care. If me and you don't never talk again, I'm okay with that. If me and you don't never contact each other again, I'm cool with that. If we don't never speak again, that's fine with me. Because I'm not reaching out to you. So if you want me, you better show me. 
and then that puts him in the weaker position and puts you in a stronger position. Now he's the one chasing you, chasing you, chasing you. And now you're the one that gets to benefit everything. And now this man know not to try you because he know that you will be gone at any given time. So now he'll learn his lesson. Or when you do let him back in your life and he's on probation and he don't get the booty as fast as he wanted. Or he don't get the, the, the money, the emotional support, the cooking, the cleaning. He don't get none of that. He got to earn his way back. Now he know, hey, I don't want to do that no more. Because I almost lost her. And it was so hard for me to get back on that level where I was at before. You know, I, I, I was at 100 with her. Now I'm back to ground zero. How do I get back to 100? So when, when he built his way back up to in good graces with you, he gonna learn, hey, I better not do that no more. Otherwise, she gonna bring me back, right back down to zero and I gotta keep proving and earning her trust again. And that's tiring. So let me just act right. Let me just treat her good. Let me just pour into her and cherish her so I don't lose her and I ain't gotta go through all that no more, okay? Let me just get my act together and treat her right because this woman is not playing with me and she really don't care. So if she don't care, I got to care. So somebody got to care, right? So you got to make it seem like you don't care about that man more than he don't care about you. And that's how you win the no contact rule, okay? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those were my top four reasons why you as a woman, you should never ever break the no contact rule with a man and never be the first person to reach out first. Let him reach out to you, okay? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me, and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.